Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Jade Empire closed fist walkthrough. Uh, so we're going to start out here and just run uh, over to uh, the kind of like the entrance of the Golden Way. There is an NPC down here named Jinlin. Please, Surveyor, don't send me in there. I'm scared those things will see me before I can get into the cave. Please, don't make me do it. Please don't hurt my mother. I'll get the artifact for you. I promise. See here, so good. Akneo How can you speak to her like that? She's just a little girl. What do you want? You're working for Purveyor Shuji, aren't you? Please don't tell him I haven't gone yet. I'm going now, even though it will probably get me killed. You don't know the purveyor? I'm sorry, I thought... Never mind. I'm Jinlin. Is there something you want? Thanks, but I need to find a way to kill spirits. Purveyor Shuji wants me to fetch an artifact from an emperor's tomb in the necropolis, but it's filled with ghosts. The purveyor is... He threatened to sell my mom to slave traders if I don't get this artifact. I don't know what to do. I can't fight ghosts. I don't have anything to give you. My mom and I are very poor. Or we wouldn't be working for Purveyor Shuji. I overheard Shuji say the artifact was in an old emperor's tomb. I bet there's a lot of stuff in there you could take once I get us inside. I don't care about anything but the artifact. Anything else is yours. Really? It would be very dangerous. And I don't have anything to give you in return. Are you sure you want to do this? I see. Well, thank you just the same. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't offered. The tomb is over in the necropolis. The door is locked, but I can sneak inside and open it. I just have to be careful not to alert the ghosts. If you really think you can get rid of the ghosts, I'll head over to the tomb and wait for you there. Great! I'll wait by the steps of the Emperor's tomb. I'm sure you'll find it easily enough. See you soon, I hope. All right, so uh, Jinlin's quest will actually result in the uh, the tiger configuration, or configuration of the tiger, I should say, uh, which will uh, is actually amazing. Uh, it's it's something like Focus Plus Thirty, so it's it's just crazy. Uh, it's one of the best uh, rewards for the uh, the Lord Lao's furnace. Um, we'll, we'll probably, actually, we won't do it probably this video. It'll be, oh, I don't even know if it's the next one. Anyways, uh, I wanted to start it now, and, uh, that way we'll have it active for when we actually visit the necropolis. Oh, hello. I'm sorry, I was just muttering to myself. I'm in some trouble and, wait, you, you could help me. You're clearly not from around the Imperial City, and I need someone's help most desperately. Someone unaffected by the politics of this place. Well, of course. I could... Um, I suppose I could write you in as a character in one of my plays. Imagine fame and, well, immortality on the stage. Oh, 
silver, is it? That's simple. I know we writers are supposed to be poor is the best word, but I never saw the point. Can't afford ink as a poor man, you see. I would most certainly pay for your time. Well, you see, there's been a mix-up. No, an error. Oh, who am I kidding? Some bastard has changed my play! I am Incisive Chorus, the playwright. I'm sure you've heard of me. And if not, you have... now, I suppose. One of my productions has been touring the countryside and catching people's attention. We were asked to bring it into the city and perform here in the Golden Way. The play must go on, but not as they want it. The play has been changed, you see. One very key piece of the play has been rewritten. No, no, no! Well, yes, but not like this. They've changed it from a commentary of man's inhumanity to man to a satire of the Empire. I tell you truthfully that they've lost the whole point of the piece. I will gladly offer you the going rate for a leading man, just for a walk-on part. I need you to take a role in the play and read the role the, uh, original way. You have a most regal bearing, so I'd expect you'd have no, well, no major problems at any rate, acting the role of Lady Fourteen Flowers. I think you should do it. You'd make a wonderful Lady Fourteen Flowers. If you talk to first-degree thespian Fong up by the pagoda, tell him you're the replacement actor. He'll be desperate, so all you'll have to do is read the proper lines. Here's a copy of the original script for your scene. Pivotal, I assure you. This copy reads properly, not like that edited pile of dung. Hurry over to the large pagoda overlooking the Golden Way, and tell Fong that you're the replacement. They won't wait forever, so step quickly to it. Remember, you'll have to memorize your lines. No script on stage, of course. Also, make sure you read from this script. Now, good... No, you're about to perform, so I shan't jinx it. Get to it! I greet you, sir. I wonder if you might have some silver to spare. I come from a very wealthy family. As such, I have a certain lifestyle to maintain. Parties, female admirers, lots of wine, you understand. I have to have an income, don't I? My father looked at my considerable expenses and told me to get my own silver. Of course, I am a noble. The shame of manual labor or the stink of trade must not be allowed to touch me, or even waft its way close to me. Not at all. Very simply, you have it, I want it. I am behaving in a very rational, civilized manner by politely asking. I read all the greatest philosophers and consulted with wise men before reaching this decision. I assure you, the philosophical underpinnings are quite sound. Wisdom is only gained by experience, wine, women, and song, as it were. But a life of revel with no reflection still does not lead to true wisdom. One must ponder, one must daydream. Even if I could bear the shame of sullying my hands with work, when would I think? How could I grow wise? Well, it loses some of the subtlety when you put it that way, but yes. If you feel more generous later, I will be here. <laughs> All right, so the beggar, um, I, I thought that I was going to get some, maybe some close fist points out of that, but that's not the case. Uh, and then Incisive Chorus here is uh, offering to pay us to be in a play, which we're going to do. And uh, here is the NPC to start the play. Excuse me, you're in my way, and I'm trying to keep an eye out for our replacement actor. The play that's about to go on here, obviously. Why do you think I'm dressed like this? For fun? You? 
You're the replacement? Well, why aren't you in costume? If you're going to be playing Lady Fourteen Flowers, you'll need your dress. There's no time for you to run back and get yours. I'm sure we can find one to fit in the back, though most of our performers are less broad. Did they give you a copy of the scripts when they sent you over here? Let me see that. No, 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 no. This is all wrong. They sent you with the old script. Bloody Actors Guild is staffing itself with water buffaloes, I tell you. Here, have it back. The script's recently been revised. So even if you're familiar with the old version, read it again for the changes before you head on stage. Well, a southern noble funded the location and travel for us, but wanted to make a few tweaks. We couldn't afford to miss the exposure. Our writer wasn't that happy, but we accepted the revisions, and here we are. I'm sure your Actors Guild told you that we have standard rates. We'll happily pay you the going rate for a lead, especially since this is short notice. Ruin your scene, and you get nothing. Just like normal. Understand? Just get at least half the lines correct, and the crowd will figure out what's happening. Any less than that, and it becomes one of those obscure plays no one likes. Now. Read that script over. Come talk to me when you've got it, and we'll get you into final costume and onto the stage. Okay, so um, <clears throat> here's the scroll stand, and you can actually uh, you can actually take a look at this and kind of determine what lines you should use uh, versus uh, what what's been changed. Now, I'll be honest, I don't. I actually don't know what the reason for uh, performing the uh, the changed script is. I, I have no idea. Um, there there might be there might be some closed fist points that you can get for it, but it didn't seem like that was the best way to go because I mean number one we're already uh, capped out on closed fist points, uh, but also you as far as I know you don't get as much money, which is more important to me. So. Um, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the play kind of the the way incisive chorus wanted it done Have you read the script do you feel one with lady 14 flowers yet? Why are you guild actors all the same isn't the money motivation enough Look you're playing a noble lady in the court of the first emperor and sagacious Tien. your scene is opposite another noble fortunate puzzle you're bringing word to the court that the Emperor has halted his advance on the Horse Lord. Uh, what else? You're kind of sad, depressed even. There, if you're as professional as the Guild said you'd be, that should be enough to work on. That's the spirit! Let's get you into the back and costumed up, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Watch closely. We shall see if the informant was accurate. Imagine condemning the Jade Empire at its heart. The fools. All of Heaven's blessings guide him, but Sagacious Tien has been absent from the palace for such a time. His conquests of the Northern Kingdoms have kept his life from us. All the scattered kingdoms have seen the light of his rule, and our emperor's advisors grow in number. The arable lands to the south, all the way to the useless jungle, which were left as nothing for the monkey king, are fused into the mighty Jade Empire. To the east, Sagacious Tien has spread his light to the very waters themselves, and lo, to the west, he found enlightenment among the hills of the Six Holy Scrolls. But what word from the waste of the Horse Lord? Aha! What is this? Why, tis Lady Fourteen Flowers. We can only hope she brings word. My dearest Lady Fourteen Flowers, under what banner does your entourage travel today? Peace in the north? Could this be? Have all the horse lords been subjugated so easily? Heaven smiles upon the empire today. Your arrival here is certainly welcome. 
as your kingdom is one of the most recent to join the Jade Empire. We have had word that the hostilities have ceased. Tell me, most gracious lady, when was this momentous decision reached? that most interestingly, Lady Fourteen Fowl. Why do I sense there is more to this story? But surely the might of the Jade Empire is unquestionable, and our will to victory unswayed. And tell me, most gracious madam, when the final blow was struck, where was our noble leader? Deep in the wastes of the North? Surely you mean the far end. The horse lord camps broken behind him. There's been nothing but the gentle drafts of spring here in the Imperial City for weeks. With such a chill in the air, was this some time ago? My lady, I sense that there is more to your story than I have gleaned. Perhaps my own perceptions blind me. It seems to me that some part of your story remains untold. Do my questions block the truth? Tell me this, if nothing else, good lady. When the cry for peace rose up, who was it that our great emperor turned to? The heavens had turned to him? These words. Are they riddles? Wait, what word is this from the front? The Emperor sends word of his return. The Horse Lords are unconquered, but our forces were undefeatable. What happened to cease the expansion of the Empire, dear lady? A celestial event? Most auspicious. And so... Our most noble emperor saw a sign from the heavens. Our mighty armies poised to crush the horse lords and stretch the empire to the ends of the earth. But we stop. For now, even I see that there are limits to ambition, and overreaching those limits invites nothing but disaster. All praise the emperor, for his wisdom is infinite. My lady, you have my deepest thanks for bringing this news to us. I shall inform the court immediately. What in the dragon's eye was that? I saw no trees in there. Oh, the informant will suffer for a lifetime. You there, Lady Fourteen Flower. The crowd loved it. Fantastic performance. You managed to hit every line perfectly. <laughs> At least we know you'll have something to fall back on if our other endeavors fail. Our sponsor may not be happy with the version you read, but I've always preferred the old version of the play anyway. I guess Incisive Chorus put you up to this, because I know I gave you the new script to study. <laughs> Good for him. I believe I owe you an actor's fee. Enjoy. I'm glad you were here to fill in. We would have sunk faster than a bottomless boat without a solid Lady Fourteen Flowers on hand. You guild actors are all the same. Never happy. Oh well, you're lost. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things I must attend to. Okay, so um, there we get a thousand silver as well as a thousand experience uh, from the... Oh, I forget his name already. But um, obviously, I, I performed the lines the way Incisive Chorus intended. And so we're actually going to collect another, I think it's 500 silver for him. So again, as far as I know, there's no reason not to uh, do this quest this way. There's no points uh, gained or lost either uh, way. Moment, did you? You do, do you? 
I've been asking around, you know. Fantastic! The scholars loved it. One's already asked for a copy of the manuscript. I'm sure there will be more. Perhaps as many as three. Here, I promised you this, and you should have it. Yes, that's it. Enjoy, and thank you so much. Oh, so much to do. So many, uh, copies to make. Yes! Ha! Okay, so there is an addi- That looks like an additional 1,000 experience as well as another- Another 1,500 silver. So I actually- Boy, that, that's crazy. Um, I didn't realize that we got so much for that quest. Uh, and it, I mean, it's, it's crazy easy to do, too. So, uh, Anyways, all right, so good stuff. Again, uh, no real reason uh, for going any other route. And actually, now that I've, uh, I've, I've kind of like delved into this quest a little bit more, but it doesn't look like there's any uh, closed fist versus uh, open palm option anyway. So um, again, as far as I know, there's no reason for not performing that play in that exact way um so anyways all right we're gonna head up into the scholar's garden now um there's two two main quests i think yeah there's actually it's, i think it's only two real big quests to do here uh number one is to uh <laughs> to uh to beat up uh creative yukong i think that's his name uh so he's he's one of the uh the people that uh what is his name? Captain Sen? Yeah, Captain Sen. Uh, wants us to uh, take down. So uh, we're going to do that. And then the other one is the Mysterious Outlander, uh, which we actually started quite a long time ago, uh, kind of on the, on the way here to uh, the Scholar's Garden the very first time. Uh, if you'll remember, there was a uh, scholar that was hurling in, or had his, uh, whatever, so, someone hurling insults at us. And um, so that was actually technically the start of that quest. Uh, but anyways, all right, so here's uh, <laughs> Creative Yukong, although his name is butchered here because he's, he's attempted to hide himself. I hope you're not here to pester me. I'm a very busy, important, and educated man, you know. All manner of studies, the history of dramatic systems, applied theology, and um, celestial integration. All of these are vital pursuits of knowledge. Not that you would understand such lofty matters. Well, you see, drama can be broken down into several systems, and I study the history of those systems over time, how they've changed, and that sort of thing. Well, there's the new system, of course, but everyone knows that. Then we have the uh, old system, which, as you may surmise, is no longer in use. That's a brief summary of my latest work, at any rate. Oh, it's all very complex, and I really don't feel like describing it to you at any length. That's how you know I'm a scholar, you see. An unwillingness to share all the information I have. Well, there's the new system, of course, but everyone knows that. Then we have the... Um, old system which as you may surmise is no longer in use that's a brief summary of my latest work at any rate too large a subject for your mind to comprehend i'm sure a shame my studies are very important to me i am a scholar after all General questions? Of course not. I'm... Ah, oh, Dread. This isn't working at all. How did you know? Well, you're here to hunt me down, then. Lord Rento has it in for me, and I figured it would come to this. I don't suppose running would do me any good. 
This is what passes for justice in the Imperial City? I was unjustly accused. I simply petitioned Lady Rento for some silver to support me as an actor. Patronage, it's called. She agreed, but her husband flew into a rage when he found out, and now I have a death sentence on my head. It's not fair. And if you were a decent person, you'd help me get out of this city instead of taking me in. It's the only way I'll get clear of Lord Rento's wrath. I'll admit that I can't match the bounty on my head, but I could give you half of what they're offering. I have an idea how I could get out of the city, too. <sighs> All the best actors die young. If we're going to do this, I might as well get out of these robes. Okay, so we're gonna take down Creative Yukong here, and um, I'm actually out of time, so as always, hope you guys are helpful, and hope you join me for more videos. Later.